The governor's task force looking into the Flint water crisis has finished its work. The entire report is on our website right now at WXYZ.com, but there are still major questions unanswered, including who else in state government will be held accountable for people in Flint drinking lead contaminated water for nearly two years now. Seven investigator Jim Kirstner is in Flint with more on this story. Here is the report, more than 100 pages, five months in the making, and the task force members say this was about how to change public policy, not an investigation with subpoena powers. Liability, criminal, civil, laws being broken, that's, that's not in our scope. There are important issues. I don't want to minimize the issues, but um, that's why we embrace the other investigations going. The task force findings, much of what we've been hearing. The State Department of Environmental Quality had the primary responsibility of prevention. State Health Department had a lack of understanding, including its own data on children with high lead levels. The governor relied too much on that wrong information. Emergency managers running Flint for the governor made the decision to switch to Flint water from Detroit to save money at the cost of public health. The city of Flint was not equipped with equipment and personnel to handle the switch. The feds and the EPA should have stepped in sooner. So far, only three state officials have lost their jobs. The task force report makes no recommendations on more heads rolling. There are some folks who still have to answer to the governor, and uh, you will see there will be some follow-up on that. The governor did not comment directly on any resignations or firings. The task force did make a total of 36 findings, 44 recommendations in general to change the culture in state government. The governor says he's acted on 25 of those, 9 are pending, and 10 have been referred to other agencies. The governor wanted this task force to be independent. Issue, to go dig into it, to go find out in an unbiased way um, what the facts were, what the situation was, and come back with recommendations. But tonight there are serious questions how the task force did this work without any influence from the governor. We'll show you how they answer next hour at 6. In Flint, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.